Hey, what's up everybody? Back again with another episode. As you can tell, in that intro, I fell into the water and I lost my rod and reel. Stay tuned though, the very end, it's got kind of a cool ending to it, so please stay tuned for that. Um, also, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel, that would be super helpful. I wanna grow this channel and I wanna to continue to, uh, yeah, make cool videos. So, I was fishing, it was literally one to two feet. Not big at all, it was low tide, it was super windy. So I found a spot where the wind would be at my back so I could cast. The winds were about maybe 25, 30 miles an hour. So I'm facing this direction, right? Waves are coming this way. See in my corner of my eye, a wave coming, maybe one foot, thought it'd be fine, and literally took me right off my feet, slid down into the second ledge. From there, I had a split second to try to get to my feet. I walked, I tried to crawl up the rocks, and then from there, boom, another wave came, and I kind of, fell into the water, kind of did a little somersault, lost my rod and reel. Stay tuned though, the very end, it's got kind of a cool ending to it. I decided it'd be a good idea to talk about water safety. Primarily, we're gonna talk a lot about ocean safety. The first thing I wanna say is no fish is ever worth your life. That means if it's sketchy and it seems sketchy, it's sketchy. Get out of there, find a different spot, or just go home and do something else. So I'm gonna give you some things that I recommend. And if you know more things, or if you wanna to add to this list, please, do it in the comments below. All right, number one is gonna be always go with a friend. So if you're with a friend, your chances of survival are way higher. If you fall into the water, they can help. If you get hurt and you, you trip or you slip or something, they can go get help. Super important to go with a friend. Now, I know that some of you go solo. I go solo most of the time just because I have windows here and there. We'll call this number two. Even if you go with a friend, you should tell two people exactly where you're gonna go and when you're gonna be back. So whenever I go fishing, if I'm going with a friend, I'll tell my wife, we're going here, we'll be done at this time. I'll text you at this time. If I'm going solo, I'll tell two people, hey, I'm gonna go to this spot. I tell my wife, I'm gonna go to this spot, I'm gonna be done at this time. That way, if I'm not back at that certain time, they'll know what areas I could be and that's gonna just be safer than just going somewhere on a whim, not telling anybody, you know, maybe you're on the south side, maybe you're on the north shore, maybe you're, who knows, right? The, it's pretty vast out there, so it's important to tell people exactly where you're gonna go. Number three, be prepared. So I always bring tobbies with me because 90% of the time the spots I go are gonna be slippery. So tobbies have felt on the bottom, they help grip the slippery wet rocks. So I bring boots, I bring tobbies. Um, so I recommend doing that. Bring a rope with you. So usually we'll bring a slide gaff, throw that in. If my friend gets in trouble, he can grab onto it, right? That's a good option to have. Be prepared with water. Always bring water with you. I know it sounds basic, but you're hiking, it's hot, you're excited. A lot of times we forget to even drink water. Also, um, UV protection is really important. I also bring a knife with me, just in case. I think a knife is good for safety. Um, I know some guys use bear spray, number four, but check the weather. So I check Surfline. I think it's worth paying for the premium. Um, I'll put it up on uh, the display right here. You can see, I also check the weather to make sure, hey, the weather is gonna be okay. Another one is um, have an exit plan. My friend and I, when we go to this one spot, we're like, okay, if you fall in there, you're gonna swim over there and then you're gonna go to that calm side and then you can climb in from there. So always have like an exit plan. A lot of spots we go to, you might see you might see a cross or you might see initials in the, in the rocks. A lot of times people have died before us fishing these same spots. So it's really important that we just have respect. I decided it'd be cool to just order a vest that you put on and when you hit the water, it inflates. But I just ordered that, should be in by the end of the week. Anyways, if you guys have any safety precautions or if you have any safety things that you like to add to this list, please uh, let me know in the comments below because again, having fun is, is cool, but safety should always be top priority. So until next time, tight lines, have fun and be safe. Take care everybody, bye. Phone is dry. I'm okay.
I try to find my rod. I think I can see my line, guys. Oh my god, there's a fly. There's the fly right here, guys. Oh, he saved it. That means my rod and reel is over here. Oh my god. No way. Where is it? Oh my god, there it is. There it is, guys. Yeah! Yeah! How? Oh. Thank you, Jesus! Woo! Thank you, Anapa! Thank you, Opihi!